And why is Kelly not a threat? My mom died when I graduated from college. And she used to say that um, the only true intimacy between two people is when you read poetry. And so the only true act of betrayal is when you share poetry with someone other than your beloved. Poetry? You mm -hmm. buy that? Well, it's true. My father, he had an affair with this pretty young law student who clerked for him at his first job, and my mother was never threatened. So you wouldn't mind if Beth had had an affair with this Kelly? I'm not saying that. I'm not my mother. But it wouldn't be the ultimate betrayal. That's what I'm saying. See, my father, during his first election campaign, had this um, old war horse of a campaign manager, Dottie Arbuckle. <sighs> Not a pretty woman, let me tell you. She worked for Bill Benton during the Reagan administration. So your dad was in government? <laughs> yeah, he was three-term mayor of Yuma, Arizona. Rabid right-wing Republican. Hideous. Anyway, Dottie would send him home every night with a poem, and then he would call her late, and they would read it together on the phone and talk about what it meant. And there was my father on the phone late at night talking symbols and literary allusions while my mom stood around the corner and listened. Then she told him it had to stop. And when it didn't, she just picked up the three of us and uh, moved us to Atlanta, Georgia. Mm, harsh. It was decisive. Okay, what about your personal relationship with Jenny? Well, we made a movie together. Um, it's a little difficult at first, but we became very close, very close when we um, made the movie together. And uh, Jenny had this way of um, just getting me to tell her everything. You know, I, she would ask me to come to her trailer afterwards and we'd share a bottle of wine and, you know, she'd get me to talk about my personal life. I, I, I don't know. You know, it was always under the guise that it was gonna make the movie better. You know, make the movie more authentic. Under you know? the guise? Yeah, just a kind of study of uh, lesbian relationships, basically. Do you feel manipulated sometimes? No, I wouldn't say I felt I mean, under the guise suggests that, you know. <laughs> I think she's an artist. I think she was just trying to make a good movie, and maybe I was lonely and needed someone, someone to talk to. So, Bette Porter, what's your first? Um, no. She wasn't. Hmm. I told her she was my first. I told everybody <laughs> she was my first. But, um, my first was my sister. My older sister. I was, um, I don't know, I was 11, maybe. 12, I don't know. Just went on for about three years. And, um, I don't know, I just thought that's what all kids did, you know? Just, uh, we would role play and, uh, I was always the boy. <laughs> it's funny because, um, I don't even speak to her anymore. She lives in Texas. She's a born again. She thinks I'm going straight to hell. But she was my first. Not bad.